Hey, this is just an update on what I've been up to. Uh, we got to the holidays just fine, had good holidays, hope everybody else did too. And I had one of these uh, sugar cookie tins left over. And uh, for years I've been wondering if I could make a sterling engine out of one of these things. Usually they sit around after we've eaten the cookies and they get thrown away, but this year I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if I can make a sterling engine out of it. I give this a 30 to 50 percent chance of success. Um, there's a lot of reasons why it probably won't work. Uh, you have to seal all the seams to make a pressure vessel out of it, and then of course you got to differentiate the hot, the cold, otherwise you end up with a common temperature and the thing doesn't run. But anyway, it's a challenge, and um, this is the displacer. It's made out of a sponge, and I've used this uh, before on uh, low temperature differential uh, or limited temperature differential sterlings and this acts like a regenerator which if you study sterling engines it's kind of one of the keys to a sterling engine engine and uh, we'll see how that goes uh, may or may not work this was just a a flashlight I cut in half and then I'm going to try to make the diaphragm this part here stick it on there somehow this is an electrical connector um, and then the uh, connector rod will go through here and here uh, I've got uh, a ball bearing situation in there for the bearing, so I've got a pretty good uh, situation here for friction. Um, I don't know how I'm going to attach that. Probably with either a, a screw or glue or something, I'm not sure. But then this has to be sealed with high temperature electrical tape like I used on the Marthford Boy uh, Sterling engine. But when you don't have a lot of stuff, you're just trying to make something out of whatever you have on, around the house, and you don't have a machine shop, and you're working on the kitchen table, sometimes you can make these things work, and sometimes you can't. So like I say, I'll give this a 30 to 50% chance of success, and uh, I won't spend a lot of time on it, but uh, I'll give a report uh, a little later on on if this worked or not. Thanks a lot.